he had strong opinions about what was good and not so good. He once told me he had dreamed the greatest hook for a country song ever, a guaranteed smash hit. I asked him what it was. He wouldn't tell me. It was just too good. He was keeping it a secret. Weeks went by. I said, call my husband Berlin, write that song, let's both cash in. He said, no, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but it is good. It's so good, it'll be a classic. Miller ended up forgetting it. <laughs> and trying everything short of hypnotism to get it back, but I think he's written it up there by now. I'm thinking maybe a co-write with Roger Miller. Now he's getting a star on the sidewalk, and I can hear the string of jokes he'd be cracking already. I wonder who'll be the first to walk all over me. <laughs> is that my star? No way, it's a manhole cover. <laughs> hey, is that Chris Clark over there with a black shirt? Dan Miller, the pigeon's favorite. He loved the idea of making his mark. In fact, uh, this is what happened. The United States is now a permanent fixture alongside some of Nashville's greatest. This park is a place for his children and his grandchildren can come visit now and forever to celebrate his life, his love, and his achievements. He would truly be humbled by this incredible honor. My family and I are grateful that we could be here today to accept this star and say a few words on his behalf. I'd like to start with Demetria. Thank you for doing the honors of presenting Dad's star today. He meant so much to my father, both on and off the camera. And I hope you know what a special place you have within the hearts of the entire Miller family. Next, we'd like to thank everyone at the National Convention of Visitors Bureau, especially Butch Sirian, the mayor of 